Okay. Um, <clears throat> I noticed that uh, with my throttle control set to rabbit, I still have a lot of play here. Right there. And that brings the RPM up a lot. So that's what I need to hook up an auxiliary throttle to. And that aside, I've also noticed that there's a lot of uh, wiring involved in this that I did not anticipate on. Uh, this, uh, for example, uh, this is actually, it goes in and connects somewhere underneath the flywheel, uh, down in here. Uh, and that's actually my charging system. So that actually goes back, it traces back and uh, actually connects to the battery and actually charges the battery. There's my uh, external battery charging. Uh, it's just an RCA jack hooked directly to uh, ground on the chassis and positive on uh, the battery terminal. Uh, and of course that goes up and plugs in here uh, with this adapter that my father gave me so it seems to work really well uh, this wire here uh, when I got the tractor this uh, coming off of the charging system actually goes and went directly to the headlights so that powered up the headlights when the tractor was running. Uh, but there is uh, somewhere here, right there. This wire has actually the original wiring for the headlights. And it's not hooked up to anything except the headlight switch on the dash. But it, you know, at this end, it does nothing. So I will hook that back up later. Um, uh, I sort of sorted through a lot of the wiring in this thing yesterday. I had this all had this whole thing all ripped apart. This was all wide open in here. There was nothing nothing there. All the metal was gone and everything you can see right in there. Uh, I thought I was having a problem with my solenoid, so I wanted to check the wiring in there, but it turns out it wasn't the solenoid. It's actually still uh my starter. So I had the starter actually smoking yesterday uh, before I got it fired up. It's uh, It was rebuilt but it's just a little tight. It doesn't want to turn a lot of times. So, But uh, I'll have to look into a new one I guess. Anyway, uh, I adjusted <coughs> the direction shifter underneath so that when this is actually in the neutral position here uh, that it's in neutral uh, the way it was set up earlier when I got it if it was in neutral it was actually in reverse so I had to bring it actually to bring it up to here to find neutral uh, I also had the problem that I've noticed other people are having with this particular model is when you put it up in the forward position <coughs> it uh, it slowly backs off on you when you're when you're riding uh, I noticed that tightening this bolt here and uh, this one right there that one I tightened I had to back it off a bit it can't be tight but it can be snug this one same thing it can be snug but not tight and with it doing that it actually allows me to put that up and it will stay there and actually it's very stiff uh, to move now which is good it's nice and tight and it stays that way but I also noticed that doing the adjustment underneath, 
bringing this back to the neutral position. This is actually giving me more forward momentum. And I can actually do wheelies in this thing now.